today's video is brought to you by the Creative Sound Blaster X Katana. Welcome strangers to my gaming crib, so come on in. So check it tech fans, you guys who follow the channel have probably seen this room before because I have filmed a few videos in here, but what you probably didn't know is this is like my main gaming area. This is where I spend all my time if I want to play games and do that stuff. I do it in this room and it's a pretty cool room. Right now the walls are kind of barren, but I'll tell you a little bit why I have that that way because it has to do with like my, my totally night lighting effects, which I think you guys are going to think is pretty cool. Now, first off, obviously, I got a big giant desk. I don't know where the heck I got this damn desk at. I believe it was at one of those like Office Depot places like that, but there are many other desks that are pretty similar to that, so the desk is kind of irrelevant. But what's really relevant is the cool, badass stuff I have in here for gaming. Now, the system I have is by Main Gear, and this is a totally crazy, awesome build. You guys can see this system features the custom of everything inside of it, and much, much thanks to the people over at Main Gear for kicking me this system. I mean, I got to tell you folks I am so thankful for this I just want to kiss them because this system's amazing I mean dual Titan XP cards x99 motherboard 5960 CPU I mean everything inside this system is just the best it's got an Intel 1.2 SSD I mean let's just face it folks this thing is a gaming monster has plenty of lights inside of it it's also green matching the Nvidia themes it has Nvidia video cards inside of it and all in all we'll just play any game that there is without a problem I mean really now, as we bounce around to the desk where I game, you guys can see right off the bat that I have a giant monitor. This is the X35 monitor. It's an Acer Predator, amazing monitor. You guys have seen our videos on it. We'll have some links below. On my desktop, you guys can see that I'm using a couple products that we've actually reviewed. Because basically what I do is when I get new stuff in, I keep it and try it until I actually find something better. So I'm using the Glaive mouse by Corsair, and I'm also using their K63 keyboard. You guys have seen these things reviewed. They're very nice products. For my sound, I honestly would have never thought that I could have used a sound bar, been impressed enough with it to replace my speaker system that I'm using. You guys have followed the channel, you guys know I'm into audio and I like high quality audio products. But the Katana, it honestly blew me away and I like the way it sounds. If you've ever had a chance to actually hear one in person, I think you guys would really like it as well. Now before we jump into the features and everything, check out this graph where it shows the entire Katana broke apart in CAD-like fashion. I just thought it was a really cool thing that you guys would like to see it as well. Now you guys can see the Katana fits really nicely underneath my monitor. It'll fit really nicely under your monitor. And one thing that's really good about that is it saves you guys desktop space. Instead of having to worry about the wires stretching out to put your you know, stereo speakers out and everything like that, with the Katana it just sits nicely tucked underneath your monitor. And you guys see it looks very cool as well. It's got a nice sleek design. On top are all the operating function buttons. You also have two of the speakers there. There are two speakers underneath that as well. We'll talk about those features in a second. And and then on the bottom underneath my desk is actually a subwoofer. So you not only get the sound bar, you get the sound bar and you get a subwoofer so your speakers don't have that lousy no ball sound. You guys know what I'm talking about. A lot of speakers out there don't offer you, you know, a full dynamic range. But with the Katana, believe me, it's great for listening to music, great for playing your games, great for TV. And let's just talk about those features. The Katana also has the Aurora Reactive Lighting System, so if you're into RGB, it's here as well. The Katana is lined with 49 programmable LED lights from edge to edge. And if you're totally into a customized lighting environment, the Katana also comes with five different lighting modes. The Katana delivers its sound from two up-firing mid-bass drivers, two high excursion tweeters which are located in the sound bar, and then one long throw driver in the subwoofer. Now each of these drivers is totally individually chambered and powered by its own DSP controlled amplifier to deliver ultra precise audio to every speaker. 
I know you guys don't want to hear like a spec for spec tedious thing, but I just got to tell you guys that all the different speakers inside of the Katana, from the sound bar to the subwoofer, are all tuned to be optimal. I mean, you get totally thumping bass through this driver that's housed in a carb compliant MBF cabinet with a flared port. Now, this allows increased airflow, and I'm telling you folks, the bass on this thing really thumps. And even at maximum volume, you never get that weird sound where it sounds like it's just too loud or trying to put too much energy into the speaker. They are so well designed that even at full volume, all the speakers still maintain a really nice sound that doesn't sound like it's straining itself to be heard. The Katana is a breed of its own. It utilizes a tri-amplify design with a total output of 75 RMS with 150 watt peak power. And like I said, this is room filling, very clean sound. Now beyond powering the tri-amplified design, the Katana also features a proprietary multi-core DSP that is capable of producing 24-bit high resolution audio. And to get totally immersed in your games and your movies, the Katana is also a Dolby digital decoder that converts analog sound from an optical source into digital 5.1 configurations. And through the USB port, the Katana can also double as a sound card, which supports virtual 7.1 channel audio. You can control the Katana by two different ways, either by the included remote, which makes it very easy if you just want to kick back and relax and do everything by the remote, or you can use the buttons on top. Now on top of the Katana, we feature a power Bluetooth button, audio up and down, the source button, and then last but not least is the SBX profile button. The Katana also supports Bluetooth 4.2. Now this gives you a connection range of up to 10 meters. So if you don't feel like turning your computer on, you can still enjoy all the convenience of great audio wirelessly without your system. And if you're one of those folks that has a lot of music on a USB drive, you can simply plug the USB drive into the back of the Katana and you're up and going and you still don't have to have your PC turned on. And with the headphone and microphone jacks, you don't have to wake up the entire house to be a late night gamer. If you're looking for true Dolby certified 5.1 audio, all you need to use is the optical end also located on the back. And lastly, there's a micro USB port to connect to your PC as well. Now, the very last thing I have inside my gaming area, folks, is my HP OfficeJet Pro 8740. Now, this thing does absolutely everything I need, and it's kind of a little bit in the way, but a lot of times I'm printing out numbers and doing stuff for my business, so I just find it kind of convenient for it to be in here. All right, everybody, so that's where I game. Once again, a nice shout out to the people over at Creative Labs for kicking down the Katana and sponsoring today's video so you guys could check it out. Now, a lot of the questions I'm going to get, I know are going to be about the lamps in the back. They're from Ikea. They're really cool. I'll see if I can find a link, but if not, well, you know where to get them. You got to go to Ikea and check them out. You probably have them on their website. Now, also, my mouse pad, this thing is so super thin. This is the Rocat Zero. I don't know if this is still available or not. I'm not really sure, but I like it because it feels really, really natural. Now, as far as the Katana speakers go, the soundbar, I honestly thought, honestly, I kind of mocked it when I first heard it because all the other soundbars I've ever really heard, unless they had a separate subwoofer that you plugged into them and stuff, they honestly just didn't have that great of a sound. They were almost ballless. The biggest thing I got to tell you guys that I like about the Katana beyond its looks and that stuff is like I said, you can turn the volume all the way up on it. This room will be filled with freaking earth shaking bass and sound and there's no distortion at all. And I just got to say that I really like that quite a bit. Some people out there may, you know, diff you know, have a different opinion. If you guys do definitely let me hear your guys' opinion down below. If you haven't ever heard the Katanas, you guys should at least take a listen to them because they're under 300 bucks right now. And I think it's a really good price range for what they are. You can operate them either by the remote or directly on it. You can listen to all your music, all that good stuff. So it's just a really cool thing all in all about those speakers. I'm going to put some in my living room. In my living room, I have the Bulldog system. I have my giant, huge TV. It's really fast, so I'm going to put a set out there as well. I mean, normally, I don't think that Creative like gears these things towards the TV as much, you know, because they don't have all the features connected just by your TV, like through a USB connection. Excuse me, not a USB connection, an HDMI connection. So if you had the ability to, do, to use the uh, HDMI connection, it'd be that way. But since I already have everything set up inside of my Bulldog in the living room, these things are gonna be awesome. So I'm gonna buy another set that just tells you how much I actually believe in them. I'm gonna buy another set and put those in my living room and get rid of the sound bar I have there. It's Yamaha and it just, honestly, it just 
it isn't that great and has no balls. So at the end of the day, hope you guys liked the video. It's I try to mix my gaming room mix in, you know, in with something that you guys would find interesting. A lot of times when I have the ad, you guys tell me, hey, we really like the ad more than that the thing you were doing. So well, today if you did that, well, I, I hope you do. Then then thumbs up. And then last but not least, there's Computex is going on. They've won a lot of awards already there at this year at the show with the katana. If you guys want to check those out, I'm sure there's stories all over the place about it. I'll also see if I can get links to that. But at the end of the day, folks, yeah, this is where I do my gaming. I also want to put something upstairs for doing smaller stuff like castle defense and stuff like that. It doesn't take a you know great big huge amount of power. But at the end of the day, my area is pretty cool. The walls are bare. And I know you're kind of going, why are the balls bare? Well, check this out. The reason that the walls are bare, so excuse me for a second, is because I have a complete cool night light system in here. So real quick, let's just check out the room with no lights and check out the lighting effects. I mean, it's really cool. I can only do two colors right now, you know, the, the green and the blue with this one, but I've ordered some other ones. And the lighting effect in here we're gaming with all these different little things going around the ceiling stuff is actually pretty damn cool. So I'm Elric. You guys have been watching Tech of Tomorrow. Like usual, down below the like button. We'll have all kinds of different information about all of these products, my gaming products, all that good stuff. And we'll see you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow because we've got a brand new video card, a brand new 1060 featuring new memory, and we'll bring that to you tomorrow. Peace.